Hey guys, I hope everybody comes back. Uh, and I can't even put comments on here. Um, when you come on, let me know if you can see me. I had to switch over to my phone. For those of you who weren't on here just a minute ago, um, welcome to my page. My name is Michaela Likas from Paint Fixation. Anybody here? Okay. So we were having technical difficulties and it looks like, I'm not sure if it's working now. Hello, hello, anybody? When you come on, please comment. I just, technology, I swear. Okay, let's see. Am I on? Let me go. I'm going to go on my Facebook and see if I'm on. It doesn't look like I am, though. I see somebody. But it's not showing up on my Facebook. Am I live, whoever you are? It looks like we have some people coming in. Okay, there's Wendy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I had to switch. I had to um, switch to my phone because my, whatever, I don't even know what's going on. I. Okay, so we've got two people on here. We had almost 30, but um, looks like that's going to be a bust. Okay, hi, JC. Okay, so this is the this is the look we're going to be doing here. But first, I'm going to show you how I did the wax here. It's very subtle. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. I hope not. So I guess it's just going to be us. Um, hopefully, everybody else will find us. I don't see Kristen on here, and she was the one telling me that I was frozen. Um, I'm not sure what the issue was. Okay. So, I'm going to show you how I did the wax. It's very subtle, but it does darken the areas up a little bit to make everything blend a little bit better. Um, for those of you that are popping on, if you weren't on here just a few minutes ago, um, we had some technical dis difficulties. Um, Michael, this is Michaela, me. <laughs> I'm a little bit flustered from paint fixation. Um, so, welcome to my page, and let's get to painting. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you all how I did the wax up here. Okay, let me turn this. I had everything set up with my computer camera, and now um, I'm back, like everything's backwards now, so hang on, let me move my shoes. I'm sorry, guys. Typical day for me, right? And I'm going to try and keep my head out of the picture. So I'm just going to do it, I'm going to just do a corner here, but what I did, what I was telling you earlier, I did not clear coat first, okay? so. What I was telling you earlier is for this wax, I did not clear coat first because I wanted it to grab more of the paint. And Kristen's typing, Wendy, can you tell Kristen that I'm live? She's, I'm, I can't go to her, she's on Snapchat. Just tell her that I'm here. So let me show you kind of up close what I mean by, I'm hoping this will work, um, but you know, like I said, I had everything set up for the other way. But so here you can see where it grabbed it a little bit better. And when I try and bring it back, it doesn't pull the wax off as easy. And that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be a little bit more into the paint, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did this up here. And I'm gonna, I'll do it right here. And then I'll show you how I did the blend right here. So I'm using Dixie Bell's Black Wax. This is a water-based wax so that you can paint over it. You can top coat over it after it's dry. So you're gonna to wanna to wait three days, you know, unless it's really thick, you might have to wait longer, but when you, you'll know it's dry when you buff it back and you don't get any product back, okay? 
So I'm going to dab it into my paint, my wax. Okay, this is my wax. I'm gonna dab it in there and I'm just gonna swirl it in my lid to get it into the bristles, okay? And then let me turn this this way a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna start laying it on and it's gonna look dark at first. And I'm gonna show you, even when you don't do a top coat first, you can erase your wax. And I'm gonna show y'all a really easy way to do it. Okay, so this is exactly how I did these two top, this one, this one. And I'm gonna show you the process that I went through, even though it's not how it ended up. I'm gonna show you how I, my process, because I will do things one way, I'll take a look at it, and then I'll step back, and then if I don't like it, I'll start again. Okay, that's just the way I do things. I'll step back and look at it. Like I said, I have not done this type of blend before, so this is new to me. Um, I've done it on canvases before, but not on furniture. So as you can see, it's dark, okay? And this is exactly how I did these last two. I'm just, I'm just doing it this way. I'm not getting that look yet, but I'm showing you how I got there, okay, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go all the way down and I'm only gonna do this one side for y'all and then we'll um, do the blend, okay? And I'm just swirling it in and getting it in the paint, okay? And so this is how I first started. Now I kind of liked it, um, but I wasn't sure I wanted it to be so heavy, okay? So what I did was, it does kind of look like clouds, this does. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did that in just a second. It's really easy. I did it because it was easy. <laughs> I think that's a, that seems to be a theme for me lately. With everything going on, I, I have been to, oh, let's see, three funerals in, the, in this year and two in the last two weeks, and I have another one coming up shortly. So it's been a, um, a, a pretty rough month. Okay. So this is how I started out. And I stepped back and I didn't really care for um, the way it looked. Okay, I thought it was a little bit too much. I wanted this to be a little bit more subtle like here. So what I did was I took the Easy Peasy Wax, okay? And this is a, the, you, can, you can coat first with Easy Peasy Wax if you want to, and it's easier to pull your wax back. But I wanted it to grab and be a little bit more in the paint. And I actually kind of look, thank you, Wendy, um, kind of making it look like um, dirt almost. So I've sprayed it onto my applicator pad. These things are amazing. You can use them for a hundred million things. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to rub it on. Okay. And you wanna always shake your easy peasy wax until you don't hear it shaking anymore. Okay, get all that wax off the bottom so that you're not spraying it with only half your product. And then what I did was I took it like this because I wanted it to kind of look like a dirty look. And I'm just going to pull it across here. Just, I'm leaving a little bit. Pulling it across here. See? And just getting it so that some of the Savannah mist is coming through. And then here, it's a little dark from the wax. So I'm going to take my clean side or cleaner side, I should say. And I'm just going to rub it off. Okay. And that way now I have, it's a little bit dirty. It's not as clean looking as my other side over here. Okay, not as clean as that side. Hi, Diane. And so, um, and when you don't top coat it first, if you have, okay, so if you top coat your wax, if you top coat before your wax, you have more control of pulling it off. It comes off easier. If you don't top coat first, it's not hard to get it off. Um, but I feel like I, I'm able to leave more if that's the look that I'm going for. If I'm just doing it for highlighting or low lighting and the cracks and stuff, I, I always top coat first because that's where I want it. I'll put it on, wipe it off. But for this one, I wanted it to blend more in with the stormy seas. I wanted it to be dark to come in here like this, okay? If that makes sense. So that's how I did the wax. And I, if I did that too fast... Um, I guess I could, I could do this side over here real quick. 
I'll grab my brush. And I'm using the French Tip by Dixie Belle. I love this brush um, for applying wax. I dipped it in my paint, my black wax, rubbing it in here to get it in the bristles. And then I'm just going to put it on. And of course, you can see I haven't even done this edge here. But I wasn't actually planning on going live today. I'm going to do this left-handed. I wasn't planning on going live today, but um, because I did this kind of different blend, I thought it would be kind of cool to go on here and show y'all how I did it. And I'm just rubbing it in. And because I don't have a clear coat on, it's grab the paint's grabbing it, even though there's very little on my brush, the paint is grabbing it for me, okay? Because the paint is porous. And what's funny with the way I do things, <laughs> crack myself up. So I, I said I didn't like this, so I put more on and pulled it back. And now, you know, I'll do the whole thing and then I'll decide later if I want to go back heavier with the wax. Okay, so we get it on, we get our easy peasy wax, we sh I shake it up every single time I use it, okay, spray my applicator pad, and then pull it back. And the more pressure you put on it, the more it will come off. I'm just going to get a clean corner. And that's it, just like that. Were you not able to find me back live? Still it says I'm live now. I had to take, I had to go off, and I had technical technical difficulties. Right. I'm live now. So if you want to go back on there and maybe share it, because I had so many viewers and now I have, no, I have not, six. You can't find it. Go on my page. Sorry guys, I'm talking to my husband. He was watching me today and um. You know, he hasn't watched me in a while, and then my technical difficulties, and now I'm not, he's like, you're not on there anymore. But some people are on here. You guys found me, right? Okay. So, because I'm on my phone instead, let me back this up some. Okay. So now I'm going to show y'all how I did this muted blend. Okay. So the first thing, I think you found it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my paint out. Oops, there's my... So I have my Stormy Seas, which is the light blue, okay? And I have, I mean, oops, Savannah Mist. I'm sorry, Savannah Mist. Savannah Seas. Stormy Seas, Savannah Mist. Oh, my gosh. I am tongue-tied. Technical difficulties. I'm having talking difficulties. Savannah Mist. Stormy Seas. <laughs> it's a... Beautiful color. This is one of my favorite colors. And that is the dark color right here. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all how I did this. The brushes that I'm using to do this, I'm using the Paint Pixie Little Frenchie for my Stormy Seas. I've got the Flat Medium from Dixie Belle and the 2.5 inch Pinelli from Paint Fixation. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is lightly mist your surface because you want to keep your paint wet and movable. And so I'm going to use my misting bottle, okay? And I'm just going to give it a light mist. Actually, let me pull this out a little bit. Okay, here we go. All righty then. So, all I do, I'm going to work with one half at a time so it'll stay pretty wet. I'm just going to go in here Add my stormy seas, and then I'm going to grab my savanna mist and put it on there. I'm not worried about the drips. Okay, now I've got a, my rag. Hey, Wilma, and I've got my Pinelli. Okay, and let me grab my mister bottle. I'm going to work with a dry brush but a wet surface.
and you're just going to really just do random, 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 okay? Now, when the paint looks like it's drying a little bit, like in here, just sit back and give it a little bit of a mist. And just keep working it until you have the look that you want, okay? You can add more or, you know, more white or uh, Savannah, Savannah Mist, or you can add more Stormy Seas. That water down here. Like this. Can y'all see how that blended in? Okay, so you're just going to keep doing that until it blends in. And I'm applying very, very little pressure, okay? Except, like, if I have an area that's really, um, like it's drying, I'll give it a little push. But for the most part, this is a very light touch, and there's no brush strokes at all, okay? So now you can kind of see the difference. Let me pull you over here. So you see how this one's a little bit more muted, and this one is light, is the solid Savannah Mist, okay? So let's do this side over here. And I'm going to do the whole drawer first, and then I'll decide if I need to, um, I'm going to do it this way, if I need to add or subtract one of the colors. Okay, so again, I'm just going to give it a light mist. Put both your colors on here. Okay. And then I'm going to add my Stormy Seas. wherever you want to put it doesn't really matter I've got my dry blending brush and I have my misting bottle and I'm just it's still pretty wet so I'm going to start blending it in and then when if I need to I'll give it another mist now as I'm going along if my blending brush gets too wet I'm just going to take my towel and I'm going to dry it off I'm going to brush it off on here because for this technique, you want a drier brush. You don't want your brush to be wet because your surface is already um, wet for you, okay? Again, here we have a little bit of the um, Stormy Seas drying, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water because the paint is water-based, so the water reactivates it. Now I'm going to just dry off my brush a little bit. And now I've got a very light touch of a hair right there. And this light touch gives you that cloud look with no brush strokes. Now you can do this technique with a little bit thicker paint, a little heavier hand, and you can have your brush strokes. It's a different look. Now this side I feel like is a little bit too light right here. So I am going to add some more stormy seas okay I'm going to give it a very light mist and as you can see the paint underneath there is still wet got a little right there my cat got in here today so I'm just going to okay now it's blended so I'm just going to lightly give it a brush light 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 okay and the lighter you go the less brush strokes like there are no brush strokes on, on this now you can like i said if you want the cross hatch look you would use a little bit more paint a little less water and there you go it's that easy <laughs> kenny okay so that's that drawer okay and that's wet, so I'm going to let that dry completely before I decide on adding or taking adding more of one of the colors, okay? Because it will change as it dries, okay? So I'm going to bring y'all down, and I'm going to do this drawer. So I'm just going to give the drawer, oops, let me pull it out a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to give the drawer a light mist. I'm going to add some Stormy Seas. Okay, and some Savannah Mist. Okay, 
okay? And then I have my Pinelli, I'm going to blend it. I've got a dry brush, wet surface. Now there are some techniques where you're gonna do a wet brush, but for this one, I found that it worked better. That looks like it needs a little bit more Savannah Mess to me, so I'm gonna add a little bit in there. Now I probably have too much, but that's okay. And just work it. If anybody has any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, okay? And for those of you that um, were on my other live and technology messed up, I apologize. We had a good crowd, but that always happens. If I have a good crowd and that, if my um, computer jacks up on me, then I never seem to be able to get back the same people. It's frustrating. Okay, so as you can see right here, this area right here, you can see where they're not blending. That just means it needs a little bit of a mist. And you see that, how it just totally took care of it. I'm gonna dry my brush. There's absolutely no right or wrong way to do this. And it's completely personal preference. You want more light, you add more light paint. You want it darker, add more dark paint. Okay, so that's that side. Thank you, Kenny. And now I'm gonna do this side. So it's gonna, a little bit of a mess to dry. I'm gonna add my Savannah mist. So this is two coats of Savannah mist already on here. Um, I did two coats because I wasn't 100% sure um, what I was going to do, but it's it's nice to have a nice foundation when you're blending um, because then you know that you have full coverage, and if your blend is not real heavy, you don't have to worry about um, coverage on your piece. Okay, so now I'm going to start blending, and I'm going to need more water. There we go. And I'm going to pull them together right here, just because this is still damp on this right side, or your left. It's backwards now that I have to use my phone. And I'm going to use my left hand. Now, this is the boss up here. That will get painted, too, but I haven't painted it yet because I wasn't sure what my end color, my outside color was going to be. And since I'm doing this type of a look, with the black wax, I'll probably do it in Stormy Seas to keep it dark. But I haven't 100% decided how many pieces that yet. Okay, I'm gonna dry my brush, it's getting a little bit wet. You can, once you practice doing this a little bit, you'll get the feel for when your brush is too wet. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I think I might add one little dollop of this here and there. You see? And that's it. Okay. So that's still wet. This is still wet. And so as this dries, the savanna mist gets darker as it dries. And so this will look a little bit different once it's dry. It's going to look more muted like these up here. Oops. These are all, these are dry. Okay. So then I will sand these before I put my, these will get sanded before I put my wax on. But if, for those of you that are just coming on, I did the wax here on this drawer. I showed exactly how I did this. And the side, I'll show you all that real quick before we get off. I'm gonna cover my paint up so I don't spill it. Okay. So my side is just a very simple blend, okay? It's just a very simple, dark on the outside, light on the inside. And I'm going to take black wax to this too. So this will have black wax going around here, just to shade this in a little bit. But it'll be the same technique that I use up here. I'll do the black wax, 
and then I'll use the easy peasy wax to erase it. So that is how I am doing this piece. Um, again, for those of you that were on before that didn't get back on, I'm sorry. I hope y'all can catch part two. I'll edit it so that you'll be able to tell um, which video is which. If anybody has any questions, now's the time to ask. I don't have any comments. But for those of you that are watching, I do appreciate you watching. Um, putting my brushes in my bag so they stay nice. Okay. So I'm not going to wash those right away. And I appreciate y'all very much. So thank you for popping in and watching. I hope everybody has a good night. And I'll be back tomorrow. I have an RV that's getting delivered to my house. And I'm going to be painting the cushions on that the fabric. So I will definitely be going to do a live for that. So um, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thanks for watching.